All right, we're back. And let me tell you, Overkill, well, no, let me suggest. I don't really want to tell you anything. I mean, I say that all the time, but honestly, I just hope you listen a little, not take it with a grain of salt, kind of, right? Uh, I got to fix that. In my personal opinion, Overkill is one of my top favorite bands ever. You know, all opinions for entertainment purposes only. Uh, you do you. I literally just got done in the comments. Someone's telling me they want they want to see a Tom Hanks movie succeed over a Tom Cruise movie. And I'm like, each to their own. Ticket sales sort of proves what the... If you find Mike in the comments, you can talk to him about it too. But uh, it turns out, what did he say? What was it? The Hill. A publication just put something out. Uh, the, the narrative bubble is exactly what we've been saying the whole time. I didn't make that up. Um, this wonderful individual in the comments who loves Angelina Jordan and wants an Elvis Tom, Tom uh, uh, Hanks movie to succeed, I have the utmost respect for that. But, but when it fails, um, and I hope it doesn't, but if it does, you, you can't really be surprised if you ignore the trends for your own personal narrative, you're always going to be outside of reality. I don't always enjoy reality, but I know I have to live in it. And as much as I don't uh, like Spielberg much because of all the bad, well, we'll call them conspiracies. They probably are. There are lines and there are moments in his films that just are amazing. And uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Ready Player One because I think it lets you know what Meta has planned for you. And uh, there's a line in there where the AI creator is like, hey, you got to go into the real world. Why? It's the only place you could get a meal. All right, the only place you can get sustained is reality. We are engaged in escapism, right? We just are. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's accurate. Now, you know, it's for entertainment purposes only. What do I know? But yeah, 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 yeah. Get into reality. And the uh, reason I'm saying all this is just in case you're a full-time subscriber, you might want to stop right now. The rest of the song, uh, if you're not into the heavy music, the rest of the song, the rest is going to be heavy. But here's the point. Why do I pick them sometimes? Well, I think some of society is rotten to the core. And we're going to spend the next couple weeks watching and seeing if those rotten to the core individuals are going to act out. Are they going to use misinformation to con convince people something happened that didn't happen? Because I just, it's weird because I just found out that uh, you used to have to go from state to state to figure out this shit before. Um, I am referencing a, a very specific uh, ruling that came down today. But I, I learned the side shit on it. And it appears that you have free travel in this country, so you can still do what you want. I don't know why people would be sad. You could still get everything you want. You just might have to go somewhere else to do it. Now, I live in a state you couldn't do that for the last 130 years. But we function just fine. So it turns out, I don't know if that ruling and that procedure are the be-all, end-all of what this country is founded on. So, I don't think trends in movies say much to our individual needs and wants. I think may, the reality says it and the narrative hides it all from us. So I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know it all. I just know, I think, personally, a lot of shit is rotten to the core.
Ooh, anybody see New York? Uh, crush all those bikes, not repurpose them, not resell them. Now you want to talk about an apple that's rotten to the core? I don't know what it's really like to be there. So you get a free pass on everyone who would tell me how great it is. But your national image, what's being shown to us all? Well, there's no shine going on that apple no more. It's worm infested uh, body is just decaying in front of all of us. I, I didn't know what to call it there. That apple is rotten to the core. It's probably a very lovely place to live. I'm also rotten to the core. I just realized why I, I uh, ostracize so many people. So just like metal itself, it puts on a front sometimes that, now, now, now please don't take offense to this, come on, but it's put on to scare away the straights. The average folks who aren't actually meant for the scene. And I realize I have a, a problem with that myself. And the 12 of you that get to see this are probably on, on the same side where you're probably willing to watch stuff that maybe not everyone else does. So you get a complete story, right? But I make sure I hide stuff from yesterday in the video here. Come on, big boys. Come on. Yes, it's a big dog. Yeah. How you doing, buddy? He's no cone. Uh, Summer is really, so it looked like it was maybe winter dry skin and some other stuff. He's, he's still got some hot spots on his legs, but um, he's doing really good. Yes, you tell poppers. Yeah. He's a good boy. And unfortunately, I hate to bring this up because it's only been a, a little bit. But it turns out that Poncho might have been acting out because of the cats the whole time. 
So he had a he's a handful, right? And he's so different now that he's the only pet. It's really weird. And that's pretty rotten to the core, too, to have to be able to uh, call it for what it is. People really like the hallmark idea, don't they? They like everything to be sugar-coated and saccharine sweet. Have it go down easy with the illusion of choice. Well... I miss my I miss my boys, but I'm so happy he's better. So I'm gonna take the realistic side and say that this crisis offered an opportunity, and oh, as we rolled over and gave up our belly, is like give me some belly rubs. Okay, in the middle of all this sadness, I'd like you to think about how pleasant it is. To, to pet your pet and then all research says this actually adds years to your life um, here's the problem they want a robot to replace this and then no Tamaguchi fucking uh, Pokemon fake nothing no oh, oh. Yeah, did you poke your spot did you get your spot poked? Yeah, he's got two little raw spots on his legs still. Yeah. Oh. Yes, real is better. Because we need uh, actual love and concern, not the illusion of love and concern. Uh, but yeah, yeah, we're getting a lot better. All right. You cool? Oh, scratch time. Hey. What a what a mess, huh? Well, it's perfect. The link is down below. You can go check out the original song. Now, this is real early in their career, so I mean even the, the quality is right. It's a they just started at this point, I believe. I think this is an EP. Can't argue with that. Rotten to the core. Not you, poopers. These are good boys. Probably not you. I hope not me entirely. Then, on the same note, I've been going down this path. The, uh, the misconception of labeling ourselves as something we're not. Now, I'm really just specifically talking about um, me, myself, and I. The man I am. And I probably believe that I'm a better man than I really am. So then the time would be here to work on that, not just ignore it. Identifying it is only part of the deal. Effort. You got to feel that fire. <laughs> Overkill off the EP. Feel the fire. Rotten to the core. Fantastic song. Up there. Their Slayer, 
then there's overkill and uh, then there's testament i really like anthrax but i put exodus uh, yeah for me slayer overkill testament exodus are almost interchangeable anthrax probably nuclear assault Maybe Metallica then. But that's me. Just me. Hey, have a good one. We'll be back later.